burns, types of burns, treatment for burns, and how to make sure that you get further medical attention if needed. I'm sure we've all burnt ourselves on something at some point, whether it's hot water out of the kettle or taking something out of the oven, maybe just touching a barbecue, for example, or the iron. Most burns are minor and we're able to treat them by ourselves at home. But regardless of what has caused the burn, our treatment for it is exactly the same. The only burn that we do treat differently is a chemical burn. So let's go to all the others. Now this has changed recently in the past six months. We used to say to put the burnt part of the body underneath cool water for 10 minutes. It has now doubled. They recommend that we keep the burnt part of the body for 20 minutes under cool water. Now 20 minutes is a long time. But the reason why they've changed it to 20 minutes is purely down to research. What they were finding was that 10 minutes in a lot of cases wasn't targeting all of the layers. And after 10 minutes, it was starting to warm up again. Hence the change. Under cool running water is important. Now we only want to cool down the part of the body that we've actually burnt. So let's say I've burnt my hand, I don't know, boiling water. You can see here that I have rings on. If I have burnt the whole of my hands, do not remove the rings, because if you do that, you're going to take off skin at the same time. If, however, I was to burn only this section of my hand, I would take off the ring that is not in contact because it's going to be inflamed and it's going to get painful and it's going to get sore. And now you've got another problem. Once you've got the heat out of the burn, you now want to dress it. You've damaged at least one layer of skin. So what are you going to dress it with? A staple thing that most households have is cling film. Now cling film is great. The only problem with cling film is it's really quite hard to keep on a person. But if this is all you have, this is what to use. Ensure though that you take off a couple of rounds of cling film first, as this might be contaminated from previous cooking. Then you know that you've got sterilized cling film. When you're going to cover the burn with the cling film, it's absolutely essential that you keep it loose. You don't want to tie it tight, because you need to allow for any inflammation. The reason why we want to cover it with cling film or plastic is because we've damaged that one layer of skin and the cling film is replacing that layer of skin. Now, depending on the severity of the burn and depending on the age of the person will depend on whether or not it's a trip down to the pharmacy or it could be an emergency, therefore 999. If you don't have cling film, or if you're at work, a handy thing to keep inside your first aid container is like a large sandwich bag or a freezer bag. Take one fresh off the roll, fold it up, and keep it inside your first aid container. Reason being, quite simply, the hand can go straight in. A little bit of tape, and it will not fall off. Again, Plastic because it is non-fibrous and it won't stick to the burn. Use your common sense on this one. If somebody had a kettle of water and it went all the way down the front of them, boiling water, you're going to call 999. If a child was to get um, a hot drink all the way over them, you're going to call 999. But if you've just touched something that's hot, like just off the hob, and you just burnt your hand just a small little bit, of course it's not an emergency. Get the heat out of the burn, cover it with cling film or plastic bag, and most of the time you're gonna be fine. Maybe you pop down to the pharmacy. Let's have a look though at chemical burns. Now, chemical burns are a little bit different. Why? because it can absorb through our skin. Now you're probably thinking, well, you can't put water on a chemical burn. The answer is yes, you can. 
There's only about three or four chemicals that don't like water and it can have a reaction. But unless you're working in a laboratory setting, working with these chemicals, you will have special policies to help with these burns. But for 98.9% .9 of the population, you won't be working with them. So if somebody burns themselves with a chemical, and let's say it goes all over my arm and my clothing, I want to get that person under cool water to get the chemical off. But it's important that you remove the clothing because this is saturated with the chemical. Now it depends how much they like their clothing. If it's work clothing, they'll probably say, oh, just cut it off. If they are going to take off the clothing and they want to protect it, ensure that they take off the jacket, t-shirt or jumper over their head that way so it doesn't come into contact with the face. Once you have the clothing removed, you can now get it under cool water for 20 minutes. Again, it's absolutely essential that you only cool down the area that has been burnt. Ideal thing for cooling a burn is a mixer tap, like a shower head. Make sure that you hold it on and you are flushing and flushing and flushing the chemical away. Be careful though of any cross-contamination. After 20 minutes, once you've got the chemical removed, do you want to cover it with plastic or cling film? The answer is no. Reason being is because you don't know if that cling film could cause a reaction with the chemical, if there's any residue. And secondly, if there is residue, you might be trapping it in. And we don't want to do that either. Do not cover it. Anybody that's been burnt by a chemical, whether it was just splashes or a lot of chemical, you will always need to get further medical help. But when you're going to get that help, you're going to A&E or 999 is coming to you, it is vital that you identify the chemical that burnt you or them. At work, if you're working with chemicals, you should have cost data sheets. At home, you probably won't. But make sure that you have the container so you can pass it to emergency services or if you go to A&E, pass it to them so they know what chemical has burnt you and treatment can be a lot quicker. I'm Sarah, owner and trainer of First Aid at Work, Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire, making training fun, engaging, but most importantly, memorable.